Hey there, welcome to our tutorial. Today we are diving into the exciting world of Python. You know Visual Studio Code is a pre-source uh, and open source code editor developed by Microsoft and one of the standard feature of Visual Studio Code is extensive support for extension. The editor can be customized with a wide range of extension for different programming language framework and tools. So let me show you some basics before starting uh, the Python. As you can see, this is uh, Explorer, and this uh, you can search and source control, run and debug. And here we got uh, extension, and you can see additional view. You can add your account. Now let's open our new file. So we are going to do Python. So click on the Python. If you want to save, you can press Ctrl plus S, or you can uh save from here now let's give him proper name python tutorial number three you know uh Let's uh, print a simple hello world. Uh, let us save that. Now run. And you can run the Python file from here. And you know you can uh, save directly from now on by pressing Ctrl plus S. And you can run that from here as you can see the output hello world you know Python is like a magical language for telling computer what to do it's known for being super easy to understand and write making it a favorite among programmer worldwide and uh, Python is used for various tasks such as uh, creating website, analyzing data, developing games, and teaching computer to do smart tasks like understanding speech or recognizing images. Think of Python as a toolbox filled with many tools inside helping programmers work quickly and easily. No wonder many companies are on the lookout for Python folks because it's versatile and fits into various job roles. So now let's print Python tutorial number three. So this is uh, just a basic about Python. So if you want to note all of these, uh, pause the video. So all right, let's jump into the coding adventure. First up, we have a simple print statement. You can either print your name or the classic hello world or experiment with printing different things. So let's start coding. Now print your name or just start with the hello world. In fact, you can print uh, simply just type print and then type your name in double quote so that's it brackets and then double quote that's it now let's run as you can see And you know I will upload the video about PyCharm if you want to code in a PyCharm so don't worry about that I will upload a video about PyCharm I have already a video about PyCharm so I will upload a new one soon so now uh, what's the code without command they are like uh, little notes for you and other to understand your code better uh, actually for command you can use hash symbol for single line command 
just like this. I'm doing uh, slowly just for you guys so you can understand that easily. As you can see, you can comment by hash. by tapping the hash keyword so and now if you want to uh, command multi-line command let me teach you how you can do that uh, you can do multi-line command by double quote or single quote for multi-line command let me show you how you can do that As you can see, it's uh, giving us error just because uh, we can't use double quotes here twice. So just write double quotes. double quote or single quote as you can see you can do the comment just like this and you know you can also use a uh, single quote for Printing something so Next uh, we have variable they are like container for storing data values just assign a value and boom you have got a variable uh, actually uh, Just uh, storing data value And you know uh, Python variable are case sensitive so I will show that later but first let me show you a simple variable now let's add x plus y and put that into z now let's print z And here uh, we are adding them and this is a variable too and we are printing the z the z actually as you can see we got three now let's give them a proper look so
and you can use app uh, keyword just for a shortcut uh, actually app uh, keyword you can use in uh, uh, Python 3 so be aware, aware of that so if you have a test Python you can use app keyword As you can see, we got x values 1 and y values 2 and z values 3. Now let's give them a proper look. So. Now x, y, 1, 2 and then 3. And I already told you about variable arcane sensitive, so let's do that. And you know if you don't have a uh, latest Python, let me show you how you can do that. Just add comma and then press that. As you can see. If you don't have a uh, latest Python, so you can do that this. Uh, you can do that like this. So you know this X. Oh, wait a second, let's do X. So you know it's giving us error because this x is not same as the another x a small one and the capital x are different because uh, variable are case sensitive now let's give them uh, value 100 and capital Y equal to 200 and the capital Z equal to 300 or X plus Y let's give them so now let's print Z As you can see, we got 300 here. Capital X, capital Y. Uh, and you know a variable can hold not only number but also string and character so get creative and let uh, your variable store names words or anything you can think of
let's give them a name a equal to Sadiq Ali and print a let's run the program as you can see here Sadiq Ali Um, and you know, I told you before that uh, double quote and single quote are quite the uh, same in Python. And let me show you. Print B. As you can see the result out here. And you know you can zoom in by pressing ctrl and plus and you can zoom out by pressing ctrl minus in visual studio code editor now we have a legal variable and illegal variable so let me show you that so these are legal variable So these are legal variables. So. If you use this format, you won't get any error for a variable. Now let me show you illegal variable. And you know you can use number in the end not in the start so as you can see we got error here we got error and you know it will show us a uh, syntax error Now let's see, after that, we got syntax error, as you can see. Let's command that, so. Now, uh, let's make thing interesting. Uh, you know, a Python let you assign multiple values to multiple variables in just one line. It's like uh, magic. So, I'll try it out. So now let's see what's happened.
to uh, multiple variables in one line let me show you You know we got error here just because of syntax. So yeah. let's change the variable to something else. Let's see. As you can see, we got Sadiq Ali and Sadiq Ali here. Now let's give them an attractive look, so we know it's some many value to multiple variable. let's see as you can see in the output section here now uh, lastly we have a global variable they are like uh, VIPs everyone know them um, both inside and outside function we will explore uh, function later but for now just known the that global variable are the cool uh, gears on the block so let's do a global variable and you can access them both inside and outside function and don't worry about the function I will teach you about function later And global variable are uh, um, can be used inside and outside function and can be used by every fun uh, for now just focus on global variable don't worry about the function It's a function, simple function. So X, Y, Z equal to X, Y, Z, capital X, Y, Z.
and global variable inside a function and outside of function. So, and uh, for today it's enough. I will teach you about function later. So stay tuned for more Python adventure. Now let's see the output. So as you can see, global uh, variable. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. So don't worry about the functions. So.